Gelsimine C2OH22N202 is an indole alkaloid isolated from flowering plants of the genus Gelsimium, a plant native to the subtropical and tropical Americas, and Southeast Asia, and is a highly toxic compound that acts as a paralytic, exposure to which can result in death. It has generally potent activity as an agonist of the mammalian glycine receptor, the activation of which leads to an inhibitory postsynaptic potential in neurons following chloride ion influx, and systemically, to muscle relaxation of varying intensity and deleterious effect. Despite its danger and toxicity, recent pharmacological research has suggested that the biological activities of this compound may offer opportunities for developing treatments related to xenobiotic or diet-induced oxidative stress, and of anxiety and other conditions, with ongoing research including attempts to identify safer derivatives and analogs to make use of gelsimine's beneficial effects. Natural sources Gelsimine is found in, and can be isolated from, the subtropical to tropical flowering plant genus Gelsimium, family Loganiaceae, which as of 2014 included five species, where G. sempervirens 8, the type species, is prevalent in the Americas and G. elegans benth. In China and East Asia, the species in the Americas, G. sempervirens, has a number of common names that include yellow or Carolina jasmine, or jessamine, Gelsimium, evening trumpet flower, and woodbine. The plant genus is native to the subtropical and tropical Americas, e.g., in Mexico, Honduras, Guatemala, and Belize, as well as to China and Southeast Asia. The species is prized for its heavily fragrant yellow flowers and has been cultivated since mid-17th century in Europe. It is found in southeastern and south-central states of the U.S., and is a garden plant in warmer areas where it can be trained to grow over arbors or to cover walls see image. All plant parts of the herbage and exudates of this genus, including its sap and nectar, appear to contain gelsimine and related compounds, as well as a wide variety of further alkaloids and other natural products. The plant's herbage, in particular, is known to contain several toxic alkaloids, and is generally known to be poisonous to livestock and humans. Chemistry Gelsimine was isolated from G. sempervirens 8, in 1870. Its chemical formula was determined to be C2OH22N202, thus with a molecular weight of 322.44 grams per mole. Its structure was finally determined, by X-ray crystallographic analysis and by nuclear magnetic resonance NMR, spectroscopy, in 1959 by Conroy and Chakrabarti. It is an monoterpenoid type of indole alkaloid, and a close relative of the natural product gelseminin, which is also present from the same natural sources. The gelsimine class of alkaloids are some of a wide variety of the alkaloid and other natural products that have been isolated from this genus of plants. Gelsimine's biosynthesis, as of 1998, is thought to proceed from 3-alpha strictocidine isovincoside, the common precursor for essentially all monoterpenoid indole alkaloids, itself deriving directly from mevalonic acid-derived cycologenin and tryptamine. From strictocidine, the biosynthesis proceeds through five intermediates, including cumacin, aquamidine, coumadine, bobacindiol, anhydrobobacindiol, and gelsinidine, humantianine type. The related alkaloids cumine and gelsimacin also derive from this pathway, cumine from anhydrobobacindiol via oxidation and rearrangement, and gelsimacin from gelsimine itself, via aromatic oxidation and O-methylation. For the chemical synthesis, natural product synthesis, studies and total synthesis, see the separate section below. Summary of biological activities Full sections in following are devoted to specific activities of gelsimine. Noted are the facts that it is a highly toxic compound, where exposure can result in paralysis and death. It is reported to be a glycine receptor agonist with significantly higher binding affinity for some of these receptors than its native agonist, glycine. In addition, it has been shown to have effects on pathways, systems in model animals, rat, rabbit, related to xenobiotic or diet-induced oxidative stress, and in the treatment of anxiety and other conditions. History Gelsimium extracts, and so gelsimine, indirectly, have been the subject of serious scientific study for over a hundred years. 
On the medical side, gelsemium tinctures were used in the treatment of neuralgia by physicians in England. In the late 19th century, Arthur Conan Doyle, the noted author who first trained as a physician, after observing the success of such treatments, ingested increasing doses of a tincture daily to ascertain how far one might go in taking the drug and what the primary symptoms of an overdose might be. Submitting his first career publication on this in the British Medical Journal, primary source on the chemistry side, the December 1910 meeting of the the Division of Pharmaceutical Chemistry, of the American Chemical Society, reports among the papers read the assay of gelsemium by L. E. Sayer, primary source. Mechanisms of action Gelsemine is an agonist for the glycine receptor GLYR, with a much greater affinity for studied examples of this receptor than glycine. When glycine receptors are activated, chloride ions enter the neuron causing an inhibitory postsynaptic potential, which, systemically, leads to muscle relaxation, primary source. Toxicity and toxicology The plant gelsemium sempervirens is known to be toxic, and there are serious safety concerns with regard exposure to it. Exposure resulting in toxicity can be via ingestion or injection, subcutaneous or intraperitoneal. It has been shown to have LD50s of 49 mg per kilogram intraperitoneal in mice, and of 0.1 mg per kilogram subcutaneous in rabbits. The sap of the plant may cause skin irritation in sensitive individuals, and there are reports that inhalation from the flowers alone may, in some cases, lead to human poisoning. See below, where insect death at such flowers is likewise reported. The plant's herbage is known to contain several toxic alkaloids, and while there is report of its feeding to pigs, it is generally considered to be an abortifacient and lethal poison when livestock or other animals feed on its leaves. It has been reportedly used as a fish poison as well, e.g., on the island of Borneo. Human poisonings are known, including pediatric and adult cases, and in the case of adults, both accidental and intentional poisonings. At lower doses in humans, the inhibitory postsynaptic potential induced by gelsemine action at the glycine receptor can result in nausea, diarrhea and muscle spasms caused by loss of involuntary muscle control. At higher doses, vision impairment or blindness, paralysis, and death can occur. Children, mistaking the flower of G. sempervirens for honeysuckle, have been poisoned by sucking the nectar from the flower. Its ingestion has been associated with honey bee, but not bumble bee, fatalities as well, e.g., in the southeast U.S. It has been reportedly used, via ingestion or smoking, as a poison in cases of suicide, in China, Vietnam, and Borneo. Treatment Gelsemine is a highly toxic and therefore possibly fatal substance for which there is no antidote, but the symptoms can be managed in low-dose intoxications. In the case of an oral exposure a gastric lavage is performed, which must be done within approximately one hour of ingestion. Activated charcoal is then administered to bind the free toxin in the gastrointestinal tract to prevent absorption. Benzodiazepine or phenobarbital is also generally administered to help control seizing, and atropine can be used to treat bradycardia. Electrolyte and nutrient levels are monitored and controlled. In the case of a skin exposure, the area is washed with soap and water for 15 minutes to avoid skin damage. While there is no current treatment to reverse the effects of gelsemine poisoning, preliminary research has suggested that strychnine has potential therapeutic applications due to its antagonistic effects at the glycine receptor. Primary source Chemical synthesis the chemical synthesis of gelsemine has been an active target of interest since the early 1990s, given its place among the alkaloids, and its complex structure, seven contiguous stereocenters and six rings. Its first racemic total synthesis was in 1994, by W.N. Speckamp's group, with a remarkable first yield of 0.83%, given the subsequent range, prior to 2104, of 0.02 to 1.2%. Eight further total syntheses have been reported in the literature, including from the groups of A.P. Johnson in 1994, T. Fukuyama in 1996 and again in 2000, D.J. Hart in 1997, L.E. Overman in 1999, S.J. 
Danishevsky in 2002, and Wai Chin in 2012, with the latter Fukuyama group synthesis 31 steps, 0.86%, and the Chin group synthesis 25 steps, 1%, being asymmetric. A further asymmetric synthesis using an organocatalytic deals alder approach from the FG. Chu and H. Jai groups in China, reporting a remarkable 12 steps and a 5% yield, was reported in 2015. Potential medical applications Modern medical utility Pharmacological research has suggested gelsimine activities to have potential related to the treatment of anxiety, and in treatments of conditions involving oxidative stress. In addition, gelsimine has been noted to have anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer activities. Recent research on gelsimine has included investigations aimed at developing safer gelsimine analogs and derivatives that might allow safe application of the compound's beneficial effects. The identified anti-anxiolytic effects of preparations derived from gelsimium sempervirens are believed due to in largest part to the presence of gelsimine in such preparations. Based on a rat study, use of gelsimine has been reported as being potentially effective, where the comparison was to treatment with diazepam. Primary source, gelsimine has been suggested to have potential in offering protective effects against oxidative stress. In a small rat study, the off-target effects of cisplatin, nephrotoxicity arising from its induction of pathways that generate reactive oxygen species, a factor impacting its use in cancer treatment, were examined, and gelsimine was found to significantly attenuate cisplatin-induced damage to DNA, and further general damage due to oxidative mechanisms. Inhibition of xanthine oxidase and lipid peroxidation activities were noted, along with increased production and or activity of antioxidants, both enzymatic and non-enzymatic. Primary source, in a small rabbit study, the impact of gelsimine administration on parameters relating to diet-induced hyperlipidemia was examined, where gelsimine was observed to improve lipid profile parameters associated with hyperlipidemia to a significant extent, as well as to decrease e hyperlipidemia-induced oxidative stress in a dose-dependent manner. As determined by altered activities of a number of relevant metabolite and enzyme activity levels. The results, taken together, led the study authors to conclude that supplements of gelsimine to animals exposed to high-fat diets may be of use in reversing the effects and in protecting tissues from oxidative stress resulting from such diets. Primary source, gelsimine has been observed to have anti-inflammatory activity. Primary source, gelsimine has been observed to have anti-cancer activity. Primary source, traditional medical uses preparations from the plant from which gelsimine derives, gelsimium sempervirens, have been used as treatment for a variety of ailments, for instance, through use of gelsimium tinctures. Applications have included treatment of acne, anxiety, ear pain, migraine, and more generally with diseases associated with an inflammatory response, and in cases of abnormal nervous function, paralysis, pins and needles feeling, neuralgia, etc. Primary source, popular culture gelsimine is used indirectly, via use of yellow jasmine, in the 1927 Agatha Christie novel, The Big Four, where an injection of this natural preparation is used to kill the character, Mr. Painter. It is then used directly, in 2013, as gelsimine, in series 13 of the ITV series, Agatha Christie's Poirot, as the agent to immobilize the character, Stephen Painter played by Stephen Pacey, before his being burned to death, thus implicating character, Madame Olivier, a research neuroscientist played by Patricia Hodge, and also, directly, to paralyze and immobilize Olivier and another character after their kidnappings, in House of Cards season 5 episode 12, Jane Davis offers Claire Underwood gelsimium as a headache reliever, noting that she should only use two drops. Later on Claire uses the gelsimine to murder Tom Yates, her lover, by putting it into his drink without his knowledge. In episode 9 of season 3 of iZombie, the victim is poisoned by gelsimine. See also references further reading Jin GL, Su YP, Lu M, Xu Y, Yang J, Liao KJ and UCX, 2014. Medicinal plants of the genus Gelsemium, Gelsemiaceae, Gentianales, a review of their phytochemistry, pharmacology, toxicology and traditional use. J. Ethnopharmacal, 152, 1, February 27, 33-52.
doi 10.1016 j.jep.2014.01.003 PMID 24434844, CS1 maint, uses author's parameter, link, Pat Mensa C., Meyer L., Talib O. and Mensa Nyagan AG 2014. Potential role of allopregnanolone for a safe and effective therapy of neuropathic pain. Prague Neurobile. 113, February, 70-78. DOI 10.1016 j.neurobio.2013.07.004 PMID 23948490 CS1 maint uses author's parameter link dot v thacker s dar bj and sharma a 2010 the genus gelsemium an update pharmacognosa reviews 4 8 185 to 194 DOI 10.4103-0973-7847.70916. PMC 3249920. PMID 22228960, CS1 maint, uses author's parameter, link, Zhang, Jing Yang and Wang, Yang X, 2014. Gelsemium analgesia and the spinal glycine receptor, allopregnanolone pathway. Phytoterapia. 100, c. November, 35-43. doi, 10.1016, j.phytote.2014.11.002. PMID 25447163. CS1 maint, uses author's parameter, link. Austin, Joel, January 9, 2002, Comparative Syntheses of Gelsemine, Macmillan Group Meeting, Brower, Justin, August 12, 2014, Gelsemium and Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, The Self-Poisoner, Nature's Poisons.